In this challenge, we're going to create the jumping functionality. Now, jumping in this game is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you because what is the logic for jumping? How do we jump for PC? For PC, we're going to use the space key to jump. So when I hit the space key, my character should jump. But realistically, how and when can you jump? That's the question we need to ask. Well, you can only jump if you hit the space key and we're grounded. So that comes down to a question of how do we know that the player is on the ground? Right now, we know we're not falling through, but we have nothing to actually detect if we're, if we're on the ground. So this is where something called ray casting comes in. And if these are new topics to you, we cover all of this in the first course, The Ultimate Guide to Game Development with Unity. What we need to do here is we need to use ray cast to detect if we're grounded, and we need to know if and when we're grounded at all times. If we're grounded, that means we're eligible to jump. And if we are in midair and we're not grounded, that means that we can't jump until we fall back to the ground and we're, our grounded check has registered again. So let's go ahead and look at the logic in pseudocode and then I'm gonna leave you guys to do your research and solve this problem. So we know the logic for what we wanna, how we wanna control jumping. So open up your player script and let's go ahead and just clean up our code here. So here we have our update. We're doing our horizontal input. And I'm actually going to rename this to move right now. So float move equals input dot get access raw horizontal. And we're going to basically use this to move left and right. Now, once we've done that, we want to now check if we're. So we have pseudocode here that says if space key. So if space key and this is the most important part. If we hit the space key and we're grounded and grounded basically equals true then what do we want to do? We want to jump. So how do we jump? Well, the same way we move. We move by modifying our velocity, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our current velocity and set it equal to a new velocity. We're going to keep our current move, so from running to the left or right, and then we're just going to add a jump force. So instead of using the current y velocity, we'll set this to say maybe 5 or 10, whatever our jump force is going to be. So we need to know what our jump force is. So we're going to have here a variable for jump, for jump force. If we hit the space key and grounded equals true, we'll talk about this in a second. If we hit the space key and grounded equals true, what do we want to do? Current velocity equals a new velocity. We need the current x velocity with a modified y, which is going to be our jump force. So that's the pseudocode for getting this. Now, where does grounded come from? Grounded, you have two options here. Um, and actually, I shouldn't say two options. There's always more than one way to solve a problem, and that's the benefit of you doing these challenges. One route that you could take here is you have a variable for grounded. So we say grounded, you know, variable for grounded, and it could be set to false, for instance. So variable grounded equals false. And what you need to do now is you need to control that bool based on ray casting. So basically, you're going to cast a ray. Uh, to do that, you would basically look into casting a ray for physics 2D. So you're going to look into 2D ray cast. And basically, you're going to cast it from the player's position down to detect the ground. And basically, it's going to hit a collider. And that collider will be any of the ground components. If it, if it hits any ground component, then we are good to jump. So you 2D ray cast to the ground. And then here, you check if you hit something, right? You check if you hit the ground. So basically, if your hit info is not equal to null, then what are we doing? If your hit info is not equal to null, then you're simply going to set your grounded state to true. Grounded equals true. And then likewise, when you hit space and your grounded equals true, you need to make sure that you don't infinitely jump. So what are we going to do? Well, you're going to set grounded equal to false because you're no longer grounded. That's going to prevent you from infinitely just spamming the space key and jumping up. What I highly recommend you do is experiment with basically creating a jump system for 2D. You're going to have to research. You're going to have to look at the scripting API for 2D raycasting. For instance, if we check it out right now, there are examples that are perfect for this. So we'll go to the physics. 2D raycasting, so 2D physics. Let's search for 2D physics raycasting in Google. 
from here you'll see here physics dot physics 2d dot raycast and throughout this page are going to be several examples that can apply here for instance how do we cast a ray it's very different than how you cast it in 3d um, in 3d you have a ray ray origin and then you output information into a hit info well in 2d you'll see here that we have a raycast hit 2d that's your hit info and it equals the actual cast code so you cast your ray you're casting it from the transform dot position and you're telling it to go down there are also multiple parameters for this, so you'll need to use your tooltip to figure out what you want to use. Um, from here, you can see here that uh, they're checking then if hit collider is not null, meaning that they did hit something, they're doing some calculations. So for here, this is where you would set your grounded state to true or false. So I will see you guys in the challenge review where we'll go ahead and create the jump functionality. If you're up for an added challenge, try avoiding the bool. There is a way to avoid this variable by using what's called a return type function. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in the challenge review.